Well, it's always a good feeling. You come here after a win, you know, uh, just give you motivation, you know, carry over to the next game. But, uh, you know, uh, I think all the guys, we, we uh, most of the guys healthy, you know, we waiting on Cal uh, Jose to get uh, healthy and join us. But, uh, you know, we're going to have to keep working hard, you know, practice day in, day out. You know, it keeps going. So, you know, put a great effort into practice and get focused on Orlando. You know, sometimes people can be more critical of their performance than other people. When you look back at that game in your head, what do you see about it? I mean, you got a double-double. What do you see about it that you really feel that you can take another step in? Well, uh, I think I take another step in all aspects, you know, just really just, uh, you know, just just going over the offensive and defensive strategies, you know, just getting better at, you know, both offensively and defensively. And uh, just reading the guys better. And, you know, pretty much I have four turnovers and just taking care of the ball. You know, that's happened in the first half, you know, just being a little careless with it. But, you know, when you look into those things and, you know, it just make you work even more harder and uh, stay focused even more during the uh, 33 minutes I played. Now, Orlando, I mean, Jameer Nelson hurt the Raptors last year in the playoffs. Uh, what do you see about Jameer that you think that you can kind of neutralize or help your team with? Well, uh, you know, I, I just want to stick by uh, what our coach wants, what, uh, what our concepts is, you know, uh, by our game plan uh, defensively on Jameer Nelson. But, uh, you know, I think it's, you know, they have good guys, you know, good players, you know, as uh, you know, Dwight Howard and uh, Hito Turbulence. So, you know, you have to stay focused on all five guys on the court and stay with our defensive game and, you know, slow them down. You know, we don't want them to, you know, come out big like last year. I really, I don't know. You know, uh, I'm just going to be prepared for the minutes I do get out there and, you know, try to help the team, you know, go forward. But the way you played yesterday has got to give maybe yourself and the coaching staff more confidence. Putting you out there to start again and prepare for the minutes. Well, uh, you know, I just want them to gain confidence in uh, me and, you know, I just want to feel comfortable just going out there and help the team, you know, just uh, getting better every day, you know, with practice. And, you know, like I said yesterday, whatever you practice is going to carry over to the game. And if you practice perfect, hopefully you play perfect. You were able to uh, kind of pick the tempo of the game up a bit with your play. Is that from the defensive pressure you put on, or is that your style wanting to, I mean, get a bit more pace out there? Well, you know, I, I think uh, the few games we, the few la la last, last few games, we started a little flat, you know, by uh, slowing up the ball. So I think by watching it from the bench aspects, you know, you know, get easy buckets, you know, get easy buckets, get guys going. You know, Andre got a few easy buckets, got them going early. And, uh, you know, once you find the big guys in the paint early, it's, it just make it easier for us, you know, make it easier for the other uh, three guys, you know, that's on the perimeter, you know, get, get those guys off early and, you know, Makes it easy. And then that gives you a chance to get your offense going when the ball's dumped inside and kicked out. And now you get good looks from the perimeter. Exactly. You know, you got two guys that, uh, you know, demand a double team. So you get those guys the ball, it makes everyone's job easier. My job, coach's job, and, you know, make everyone happy.